Hey, this is Mike Zapart with Compass, and I always get a lot of questions from parents about great schools in the area. So today, I want to give you a tour of Chambra Christian School. Let's go take a look inside. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call because I'm gonna be on break. Hey Mark, thank you so much for having us over here today. So what local communities do you get your students from? Majority of our students do come from the Schaumburg area, District 54 schools. We do receive a lot from the Elgin area as well, mm -hmm. uh, Palatine. We have a number of students even coming all the way from Aurora to come to our school because of our really good academics and social environment here. Yeah, this is one of the things our children really love about this yeah. school. I know you're doing a lot of walkthroughs with parents over here. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the school environment? That's our biggest seller, actually. Uh, okay. We have a lot of families that recommend families um, just because we have a community feel. Families have been here or passed through here. We have alumni that come back. And I think it's just about feeling like home, away from home. Right, and they like coming here because they feel happy safe and they have a lot of friends they feel like family yes they do we just try to provide an environment where they are able to build confidence uh, for themselves and also to create new friendships this is um, two-thirds of their day and it's a privilege for us to be able to take care of them as our family so. i'm glad they're spending in such a nice environment My name is Elijah Williams. I'm a senior at SES. I've gone here for two years. And for the past year, I've been taking dual credit through uh, Grand Canyon University. My experience with dual credit has been very beneficial to me as it has shown me the realm of college work that I have to experience later in college and really prepared me by showing me the course load and the type of things I'd be expected to do. So one of the things we hear from parents, they absolutely extended care and then after school activities, right? Yeah, extended care is a great opportunity for our students to be with us all day. We start as early as 6.30 a.m. and go all the way up until 6 p.m. In the mornings, students can be dropped off. We have supervision for them. And then after school is where we really help students prepare academically for the following day, or even for athletics. We do a lot of summer leagues or baseball leagues or know, yeah, special things on leagues. Wednesdays. Right? Yes, and on Wednesdays, yeah, that's when we do our big competitions where we really teach the foundations for a lot of sports okay. for our students so that when they grow up and they stay in middle school and high school, they will have a good base for any of the athletics that they join here. So it sounds like you're keeping them engaged throughout the day. Yes, we want to make sure the students are active, uh, both socially, academically, um, and engaged with other people in this school. Hi, my name is Nathan Ramos. I teach computers here at Chamber Christian Schools from first grade through 12th grade. It's really important for uh, students to learn about uh, computers as different industries in every sector pretty much are influenced and affected by computer science and how it has just transformed uh, pretty much every industry. So no matter what industry you know your student is looking to go into, they're going to have to work with computers to be successful in it. So the question that's on people's minds is student to teacher ratio. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, that's actually a very tricky question because we do uh, actually offer from preschool all the way through high school. So okay. our little ones, um, we do start a little bit smaller. So like 18 students for two adults in each classroom. And then fours, we do have, you know, as they grow, 22 students for two teachers, kindergarten, probably 24-ish for two teachers. And then after that, on average, 24 to 25 students per classroom. Yeah, the kids so. get a lot of attention here. You know, their kids are always excited. They have a really good connection with their teachers. So I think it's great. Campbell and I'm in 10th grade and I just started at SCS this year and I've really appreciated all the opportunities they give for the fine arts. I'm really involved in singing and theater. Since I got here there weren't any really opportunities to compete for something that I work really hard on and I was good at, which I have gotten here. I've already competed in two competitions and I've done really well and I really appreciated the opportunity to get to do that and also just the like community and like choir. It's much better and much more supportive than that at my last school. So this is our middle gym. This is one of our three gyms on campus here. Wow, so one of the things my son was super excited about joining Schumber Christian School is about all the sports program. He's very athletic, right? Yeah. So he was really happy to be here. 
Yeah, we offer a lot of athletic uh, possibilities for our students here. We have PE on a regular basis for the students. And then in the fall, we do boys soccer, we do girls volleyball. In the winter, we do boys basketball, girls basketball. And then in the springtime, we actually have girls soccer uh, and boys baseball. Mm -hmm. Additionally, some students that are swimmers or tennis players that we don't have, we can work with them and they could still compete for I, for us as a student in IHSA sports. Yeah, I think there was something important for my kids to be yeah. part of this community, being part of this school and also having that challenge, right? To drive the coaches, driving them forward, improving on their skills and tactics, right? To go forward in the social and uh, sports life. Yeah, and our, our school really focuses a lot on our athletics and our fine arts. Mm -hmm. We really want to make sure that our culture is one of excellence, not just academically, but athletics and in our musical realm as well. Wow. And we do a great job with our school themes are always built around our athletics. Yeah, and I'm super jealous of facilities here. If I yeah. had that in my school back in the day, that would be awesome. We've been really blessed with some really good facilities. I mean, this being the middle gym, mm -hmm. uh, both in size and in location on the facility is, is so awesome to have our middle school sports being played in here. Hi, my name is Jenny DeYoung. I'm the early education principal at Schaumburg Christian School. And what makes our school so wonderful is the multicultural diversity that we have at our school and our amazing teachers. We just are thrilled to um, show you our school and to have you be a part of this wonderful community of great families and students where we can work on building foundations that will help these children in the future. We would like to focus on their character and improve each year on building Christ-like students who love the Lord and want to excel in their academics. You know, very thing that's unique about this school, the kids don't use electronics every day, right? Correct, correct. We do have books and uh, workbooks, reading books, um, so everything is done pretty much uh, in class, in person, nothing virtual, but we do actually offer classrooms that they're learning how to type, they're learning how to code, and everything age appropriate, and um, just following their development once a week, but not daily inside the classroom. Yeah, so they don't have to bring Chromebooks to school every no, day. No, no. We want to limit their screen time, right? Just, just sure. with more traditional learning with the books and pens and handwriting, right? Correct, and socializing, they work with partners, they um, they have a lot of projects where they're actually correcting each other's papers. So just the things that we used to do, and we're just um, allowing them to take advantage of that. Yeah. Hey, I'm Joshua Falco, uh, class of 2024, and uh, I'm a junior here at SCS. They offer a lot of dual credit here, which I've been taking. I already have about a year of college knocked out. The possibilities are just really endless here. And I'm really, I think it's a good choice if you go private instead of public. So let's talk a little bit about security that's on everybody's mind right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Security is always a top priority for us here at Schaumburg Christian. Um, we want to ensure that our students and staff and families are always safe. Individuals always have to walk in, checked in. Additionally, we are always working with the Schaumburg Police Department. We're always up to date with our current safety protocols and safety drills, we make sure our staff really know what is happening and when it's happening in real time. And I know you have like the Schaumburg police coming yep. here for events in a couple of days, right? Yes, for we have, training. yep. They're gonna be here in a couple of days for training. And then not only that, we may be one of the only Christian schools in Illinois to have a full-time SRO. That is something that we are continually working on with the police department. Additionally, the police department does send squad cars to our facility often. They walk around, they make sure that the building is secure, that our students are safe. And we wanna make sure that the police department really interacts with us mm -hmm. in the community as well. We have a very good relationship with them and they're constantly talking and working with us. Hi, I am the Spanish teacher here at Schomburg Christian School. We introduce Spanish to preschoolers all the way up through 12th grade. And we are one of the few schools that actually offer Spanish to elementary students. So now earlier today, you mentioned fine arts program, right? It looks like they're breaking down the stage. They're, they're, they're actually putting this up. Um, we work with overshadowed theatrical productions out of Itasca. It's okay. a family-based uh, theatrical production company that uh, comes into our school and uh, puts on our spring plays for us. And our students are all involved. It's a wonderful time for our students to really learn how to express themselves in a Christian environment in mm -hmm. theater. 
Uh, on top yeah, of that, we a very cool room, very cool space. Yeah, this right? is our where we host our, a lot of our music performances for our students, especially in the middle school. Uh, we teach kids all the way from preschool to 12th grade music. Mm -hmm. Music is a great way to expand the brain, mm -hmm. to learn, and to grow. We really like the teachers in the school. They're very kind to the children, and the children just run up and just love to say hello. I definitely would like to say that, you know, as far as reading, I know that my son, as far as his reading goes, has been skyrocketing since he first started here. The teachers are really great. My Both of my kids study here, and especially my elder daughter, she's in sixth grade. Her spiritual growth is really great that I really admire. Hey, thank you so much for watching our video about Shambhu Christian School. If you have any questions for me as a parent or administrator or teachers here, let me know. I'm going to try to give you all those answers. This is a great facility, great school for your children, and I hope to see you guys soon.